I'm Ashlyn. And I'm Zach. And we're traveling A to Z. This week we're exploring Willits in Northern California. Our next stop is to the city of Willits, which is right off of Highway 101. It is the gateway to the Redwoods. Our first stop is to ride the historic Skunk Train. So here we are in Willits, and the train's gonna go all the way up to the tallest route and then turn back around. This is Fort Bragg. You could also get a train ride, and it goes about an hour, 45 minutes out, and then back. The train used to go from Willits all the way to Fort Bragg, but I guess the tunnel is broken, so you can't go all the way. which is the longer of the train rides. And it's supposed to take you to the highest point on the route from Willits to Fort Bragg. and there's a little picnic area. You can go see the tallest tree and you can watch the engine change from one side to the other side of the track so it goes the other way. So there's an old guy that used to live here and he carved that bear apparently. And that's like a little monument to the guy. It's a big tree. So this is the wolf tree. It's over a thousand years old. It's one of the oldest lasting trees that haven't been cut down in this redwood forest and it's over 15 feet in diameter. It's huge and if you look you can see it. It's over 350 feet tall also. So this is the old town of Crowley. There's some little bits of building left. Everything else got pulled down and moved to other places but this is still here. This is the town where all the lumberjacks used to live while they were taking down all the redwoods. 
and apparently one of the founders, Homer, really loved to play tennis. And so he actually had clay from France brought to this little tiny town in the middle of nowhere and he made a clay tennis court. But I think that's kind of cool that here's this tiny town in the middle of nowhere with this French clay tennis court. Well, we found the old tennis court. It's this flat spot behind us. It goes from about right here all the way to over here. That's where it was. Now that the engine turned around and we explored the little town, we are heading back to Willits. So we're gonna go check out the Mendocino County Museum. Apparently there's some old steam engines and things from the old railroad and the Timberwood era. It's a museum of pretty much everything you could think of from the Indians, the Native Americans, all the way through the settlers coming in and then they have their old shops and how they were set up along with some of their goods and also the timber industry and the railroad along with local people like going into war. So it's kind of a cool little museum that goes through everything and I don't know if it's always free but it was free today. So the Mendocino Museum is right down the street from the skunk train. So you can make it a day, do the skunk train and the museum and get to know pretty much everything about this area. We're now heading to our last stop in Willits to see Sea Biscuits stalls. So if you've ever heard of the racehorse Sea Biscuit, this is where he used to get it on. This is Sea Biscuit's stud barn. I don't know if that's where he was made or where he was making other horses, but it's pretty cool either way. We're not sure if we're supposed to be in here, but the door is open, so we're coming in. So Sea Biscuit is a famous racing horse from the 1940s. Apparently he was a really lazy horse and all he wanted to do was sleep and eat. And so they tried to sell him multiple times and finally they sold him and he got a new trainer and he became really famous and he was one of the top race horses in the 1940s. And this is where he came from, Willits. I hope you enjoyed watching some of the top stops in Willits, California. If you enjoyed our video, please subscribe below to follow more of our adventures.